Lafayette School in Chatham performs a well-known play, but with a twist. All the actors are wearing giant paper mache heads. Don't worry if it sounds a little strange. Hometown TV's Lee Pafford attended the latest performance to speak to some of the actors and the teacher. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Lee Pafford for Hometown TV News. We're here at Lafayette School to see their legendary head show. Well, I don't know if this head gives you any clue as to what the topic is tonight, but let's go find the kids and see. My name is Janet Kramer, and I've been in this school since we've been here for about 15, 16 years, but I've been in the township or in the school system since uh, January of 67. And when did you start doing the head show? Uh, I think it was, uh, we started building a few heads. It was just for fun. And we built three, I think, the Christmas of 73. And then how did it develop into 150 heads later? <laughs> well, at first it was just a decoration for the music program. And we went like that for several years until it was suggested, like, you know, there should be a head show of its own. And I'm going like, oh, I don't mind. I'll just decorate the music program. And at that point, they sort of decided that there should be a head show. And uh, uh, that's the first head show of its, re re of its own was when I was pregnant with 34-year-old Eric. <laughs> and where did the concept of creating these big heads, where did you get that idea from? We uh, first started building some very, very large puppets. And uh, we were using them at Mountain View for the, like, the music program to do like a skit. And I had to sub for a kid. It was in June. It was hot and uncomfortable. And I thought, hmm, may they would be just a little bit bigger. We could wear them. And that's why we made three that Christmas of 73. And it was just on a lark, like, oh, this would be fun. And uh, I can remember our principal at Southern saying, like, look, I know we only go up to fourth grade now. Do you think you could uh, still do the heads? Well, although at the beginning when somebody suggests, oh, yeah, there should be a head show of its own, I'm going like, oh, no, no, that's not necessary. <laughs> By this time, I was having a good time with it. So uh, I thought, yeah, sure I can. And then he goes, uh, well, then who should do it? And I go like, um, he was such a nice, nice guy. It was too nice to, I, I, you couldn't just say I could have chosen individuals because that sounds sort of exclusive. So I go, everyone. <laughs> And that's where it's gone. So you brought all this trouble upon yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this year you did Wizard of Oz. Where did that idea come from? Oh, I, I enjoy Wizard of Oz. There's certain stories that I enjoy that, uh, or, or that really lend themselves well to this kind of thing. Like we did Alice in Wonderland in January. I mean, that's really super because you've got all kinds of animals. You've got flowers and bugs and, you know, lots of really interesting kind of creatures. Plus, I've written a number of uh, original stories that we've done, and then you really have free reign. They don't have to look like human beings. Kids already are relatively human beings anyhow. So uh, <laughs> when we're sort of having fun with this kind of thing, we could have things with great big flat heads or big horns and all kinds of other things. So. Can you give us a sneak peek into what you might be using topic-wise for next year's head show? No, because I haven't really decided yet. <laughs> so, and if I had decided, I won't tell anyhow, but uh, I, I haven't this time. Last year, I did have it sort of figured out what I was doing. I'm joined by Patrick, who is one of the stars in tonight's show. Patrick, what are you going to be doing tonight for the Wizard of Oz head show? I'm a puppet that is known as a spook. I'm in the forest scene. And can you show us some moves that you're going to be doing for your puppet tonight? Sure, here's one of them. Ooh. Another one is this one. Is there going to be some special spooky music going on behind you? Mm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and did you make this puppet yourself, Patrick? Yes, actually, yes, I did. And what goes into making a puppet like this? Well, it's basically paper mache, a little cardboard, and um, the funny thing is we actually started off with a trash bag and a balloon, and wow eventually just got to this. And I see you're being creative with your parts. What is this here you have as the main part of the puppet? This is a stick and <laughs> the head. So they're very eco-friendly, right? Yes. Well, you had a show this morning, and you're going to have another one tonight. We're very excited to see you. Thank you, Patrick, very much. Thank you. I'm joined by Lauren and David, who are also puppeteers in tonight's show. Lauren, what's your favorite part of being involved in the head show? Um making the head the heads in the puppets it was like really fun and you do that in your art class yeah and do you know how many puppets are in tonight's show no mrs kramer said something about almost 150 
I don't know. <laughs> that seems like an awful lot of work. Everybody in the school pitches in, right? Yeah. That's great. And David, you have one of the puppets here. Ooh, ah, that looks like a scary puppet. Thank you. And you're going to be a puppeteer in tonight's show? Yes. And what kind of rehearsal schedule did you have for this show? Well, we didn't really have to rehearse much, um, but we only had rehearsals on May 23rd and May 24th. So wait a minute, you guys are this good and you only practice two times? Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> well, that's great. Let me see your puppet. Can you show the camera your puppet? Ooh, that is a scary puppet. Ooh, show us some of your puppet moves. Do your arms get tired after moving the puppet around? Yeah. Are there any special exercises you can show us that you use to beef up your muscles for your puppeteering tonight? Well, I don't really do those, but I just like perform. You I just don't perform. They're troopers here at Lafayette. Very few practices, lots of work on the puppets, and they are good to go. I'm off to see the wizard tonight here at Lafayette for their legendary head show. Back to you in the studio.